Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Luciano. This video uh, I am making it uh, for Batrobi Batosai, uh, one friend of mine. He has a channel here in, in YouTube too. If you can, please uh, take a look on his channel and let's help this this guy uh, with his channel. Well, uh, he asked me uh, today about this pole arm that I have uh, here. Uh, I posted uh, one video showing my cutting practice, my, my practice of Tameshigiri and uh, this is a weapon that caught the attention of the people because it's a, uh, an unusual uh, weapon. This, this weapon I made it and I will show it uh, on the tails and this is a version that I made uh, to simulate the Bicento. Bicento is a, a glaive, a uh, pole arm uh, used on Japan, very similar to the, the Chinese Guandao. I would like to explain why I made this weapon. And the, the reason is that sometimes it, it may be very hard to find the, 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 the weapons for training, for or practice on martial arts. Some kinds of weapons may be easier to find. For example, katanas are very common. It's very easy to, to find a uh, katana and order it from a shop uh, in most of the countries in the world. And also uh, the, the wooden swords like the buken. Uh, buken is a, a very common uh, tool for training and is very easy to find but other weapons are much harder to, to find so for example here I have uh, the Kanabo that I made and this is uh, an example of a weapon that you may not find so easily uh, on a shop uh, to buy maybe you can order uh, one, one example of this weapon uh, from the internet but you will pay uh, a lot uh, of money uh, by the package and there is also other examples so shuriken shuriken is uh, an item that you may find very easily uh, here in brazil there is no problem on selling and buying and using this kind of weapon uh, you may uh, buy it freely and use it in the training but as you can see the, this example uh, it's not uh, a real shuriken in the sense of uh, what uh, was used uh, in the past in Japan I made uh, some shurikens for me I, I made the templates and cut it then from a plate of of steel that I bought uh, to make them. So uh, using uh, some some materials and some of my tools, I can uh, make uh, the shurikens in this, the exactly uh, shape and size that I wish for my training. So now about my sento, uh, I made it. Uh, using uh, um, stuff that we use on, on the, the practice. This is a rope shakubo, a uh, um, six foot stuff used on Vinikambo do Taijutsu. And the blade, uh, I, I made the blade using a um, sugarcane machete. So I destroyed the handle of this, that machete and I used the, the holes of the, the, the blade to to fix it on on the, the stuff, I cut it the the stuff using uh, an saw and I drilled the holes with a with a, a driller, and after that I cut the profile of the the blade to resemble the Bicento and the the Guandao, but still. Uh, this this blade it's not uh, very close to to the real Bicento because the real Bicento is said to be a much heavier uh, blade 
uh, while the, the sugarcane machete is a very thin blade you can see I can bend it with my hand uh, with no problem but still it, uh, it's a sharp blade capable of uh, making a lot of damage uh, I fixed it with some regular bolts uh, I used the, the the holes of the original holes of the the, the machete and uh, another difference with the real Bicento is that usually Bicento and Nag Naginatas have the the pole uh, the, the stuff um, made in an oval cross section so it's not round like uh, stuff like this uh, and when you have uh, stuff that is uh, uh, oval on the, the cross section you may have a better uh, control of the uh, alignment of the blade during the cut and also the real Bicento usually have a sp um, spike in the end of the, 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 the stuff this is not very close to the real Bicento uh, which was used on the past, but uh, if I didn't made it, probably I would never had the chance to 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 use uh, this kind of weapon in my training, probably in my entire life, because it's very hard to find any manufacturer or any example of Bicento or a, a real Guandao. Uh, available uh, on shops uh, on the internet impossible to find this kind of stuff here in Brazil uh, I can't find uh, maybe uh, the, the, the Guandao's versions uh, that people use on Kung Fu practice but they, they are not uh, intended to be used uh, for cutting and to, to be used as a real weapon so, well, uh, this is my, my Bicento, I hope you liked it, and uh, please share this video with your friends, uh, if you're not subscribed for my channel, please subscribe, subscribe, and if you have any comments, or if you want to ask any question, uh, feel free to, to leave your question in the comments below. Well, I hope you liked this video, and I see you later.